I'm going to be doing a first impression slash unboxing, unbagging on a bunch of goodies I got from Miss A. It's shopmissa.com. And these are stuff that I got with my own money. It wasn't sent to me at all. So my opinion on the stuff is definitely going to be my opinion 100%. Uh, this is like a website where everything is one dollar and when I mean everything's a dollar, like literally everything is one dollar. Out of the whole website, maybe I saw like one thing that was two dollars and it came with two things so I understand why it's two dollars. And so yeah, I basically heard about this website through one of my subscribers, Waleska. So shout out to you Waleska, thanks for the heads up on the website. So yeah, it was shipped through a carrier called I think DHL, which I don't know about if any of you have ever received something from that carrier, but they really suck. Like, they deliver it at, like, the weirdest times. I had it sent to my mom's job, and they tried delivering it, like, at 10, 11, at night, and it's like, my mom's not working at that time. But, yeah, I finally got it, so let me open it up. Okay, so right off the bat, they get two thumbs up for packaging because it came in this. And then it came in this bubble wrap and then wrapped in this and wrapped in this and most of the items are also individually wrapped as well so that's good okay so let me start off with let me just pick something random and again these are all one dollar so the first two things I got are facial masks this one is a vitamin E skin brightening natural pearl mask and it says it's brightening and rejuvenating it's a creamy mask Let me just show you that and then this one it says it's a collagen facial mask contains vitamin C E and collagen reduces fine lines and wrinkles while hydrating skin for all skin types and it contains one cloth mask so this one is kind of a cream and this one is an actual mask that you put on top of your face and my skin right now is not happy with me it's breaking out so hopefully this can you know soothe my skin a little bit so I'm really excited to try these out I'll probably try these out today okay the next thing I got are these eyebrow razors it comes with three in a pack it's a pink one a lime green one and a blue one and these are pretty cool because you can actually fold them like to fit in like your a wallet or a purse if you don't want to carry the blade like that when it's open because you can get cut so that's pretty cool I had a pack of these I usually use them like if I'm in a rush and I can't thread my eyebrows or my upper lip or something I'll take this and I just kind of shave it that way um, I try not to do that but again like I don't have all the time in the world to be threading my eyebrows and my upper lips so this really comes in handy when I'm in a rush and yeah it's by clean color so it's trimming and, and shaping the eyebrows to perfection so hopefully the the blades aren't dull and they actually you know work the next thing that I got is a lip liner by LA colors and it looks like this and the shade is, I believe, what's the shade? It says mauve. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Okay, so it's a retractable pencil. Like this. So let me just do a little swatch on my hand to see if you guys can see. Okay, so that's kind of the swatch. Um, so yeah, this is basically like a neutral color. It says mauve, but this is probably kind of close to my lip color. So I can use this pretty much with any lipstick. And yeah, for a dollar, I don't think you can go wrong. I've used LA Color lip liners before. And, you know, they're pretty good, especially for, again, a dollar. You can't go wrong with a dollar. I also got this little cosmetic bag. Which I think is super, super cute. It's actually bended. Let me pop it out. Because the corner is a little bended. Okay. So it's like this. 
rectangle shape and it just has like images of girls shopping and it's a beautiful blue color I originally was gonna get the pink one but then like I have a pink Victoria's Secret one but and it's the pink one that I actually have in my Victoria's Secret haul and that was usually where I put my makeup but a lot of the times like if I bring a brush or something that bag is too small so I wanted something a little bit bigger where my brushes can fit and I think this one definitely is wide enough for my brushes to fit the material it's pretty cheap it's like a a cheap plastic but and then it has like you know these little things on the side but I mean for a dollar like I don't I wasn't expecting any thing better than this like for the price the quality you know it's a dollar so I can't complain and I really really love the color it's like really really bright and since I love doing my nails I love doing my nails I love painting my nails um, I like doing designs on them I have um, a set of like the, the acrylic and the tips that I do myself because I don't really like going to the salon because one I don't have time and two like it can be really really expensive when you go to the salon to do your nails so I bought this brush it looks like this one side is like this and then the other side is like this it's like a point so this side is basically a brush that I can use for the acrylic for uh, the powder to apply on my tips because I have one and I accidentally left it overnight in the acrylic powder I think and it got hard as a rock so and it's really really soft and then this side is if you want to do designs on your nails like polka dots you just take the tip dip it in the color and then you can do the polka dots you can do a marble design with this you can do a whole bunch of stuff so as soon as I saw this and it was a dollar initially I was just looking for the brush but it had this side and that was like a bonus because I always wanted that little thing to do the designs Next, I got some eyelashes. These are Cara eyelashes, 100% human hair, and these are number 80. Now, as you can see, like there's a little space missing in the eyelash because I was trying to, let me show you right there, there's a space missing. I was trying to pull it out and the hair just ripped out. So it's pretty cheap quality, like I'm, I'm not gonna lie, and it's very thin. Like, there's no way you can't break it. Let me just... Yeah, look at... I don't know. I'm not too happy about that. And I rarely wear eyelashes. I, I'll use eyelashes, like, if I'm recording to experiment or, like, for Halloween or something like that. So I'm trying to get more into the whole eyelash thing. Um, so I saw this for a dollar. And they're supposed to be like the dramatic ones, I think. But, yeah, and they're really, really long, so I would probably have to cut them. But I don't know how what I'm going to do with that space because it's pretty noticeable. Next, I got some underwear. Yes, underwear. They even sell panties. And usually, I pretty much just get my underwear from Victoria's Secret. But when I saw these underwear for a dollar, I couldn't resist. I wanted to try them out. Just to see if the quality was good and if they're not good then I didn't really lose out because they're only a dollar. So I got yellow and gray stripes and polka dots. This is a large. And the material, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty good. It stretches. It kind of has a nasty smell but I always wash my underwear anyways. So actually let me compare these to a... Victoria's Secret panty that I have to compare the size to see if they run true to size. The underwear in the front are Victoria's Secret size large and the ones in the back are the Miss A size large. So they're pretty much the exact same size which means they will fit me so I'm super happy about that because a lot of the times when I buy stuff online I'm not really sure how their sizing is but 
you can rest assured that the sizing on the underwear is true to size. I got a whole bunch of jewelry from them, which took me like so long to get because again, my first choices of jewelry, they were all sold out. So I was really anxious because a lot of the times when I buy jewelry online, it doesn't look how it looks on the website in person. So let me just open these up. Okay, this one is a necklace by Superstar Accessories. Let me just take it out of the plastic. It's silver, since I usually like to wear, I have um, my jewelry is white gold, so I like wearing like white gold or silver. Of course, this is not real white gold, or probably not even real silver, I don't even know, but yeah, it looks like this. Let me show you guys the design. It has, let me see, yeah, it's just some blue gems, and I think that's like, the hand of Fatima. Am I pronouncing it right? I don't know. But I see this little hand a lot on jewelry. And I think it's really cute. Yeah, I think. I like it because it doesn't hang too low. I hate when the necklace like hangs all the way to my belly button. It just looks weird. And since I am top heavy, if you know what I mean. When I wear long necklaces, it just it protrudes. Like, it pops out because of my breast, and it, it just looks really weird. So I'm glad that this is not that long. I have another necklace that I got. This one seems pretty long, so I don't know how I'm going to feel about this necklace. So this is a gold color. Um, yeah, the gold looks pretty fake, but let me show you guys a close-up. It's just like a whole bunch of dangly stuff let me see how it works on. so it's not that bad it's not that long it's, it stops right there so it's not that long i thought it was gonna be long i don't know why in the packaging it looks super long but yeah it's not that long so i can definitely wear this and i needed a gold necklace and i thought this was really stylish so yeah so far this a i'm not disappointed in what i got except for those cheap eyelashes Oh, okay, I'm really excited about this. This is a hand, um, a bracelet that's attached to a ring, and it's by Melody. And I just really love the colors. I love gold, and the, the jewel is like an emerald turquoise. No, like an emerald color, something like that. Let me take it out of the packaging so you guys can see it better. Maybe you can see the color better that way. So, and I hope this fits because the ring isn't adjustable. The ring is just a solid ring like this. It's not adjustable. So if it doesn't fit my finger, then I'm basically screwed. Let me try this on. Okay, yay, it fits. I'm so happy. It's a little bit loose, but it definitely isn't loose enough that it'll come off. So it looks like this. I think it's super cute. And it's a dollar. You cannot go wrong. Um, so yeah, the jewelry is not real. So like I have to be on the lookout for water wherever I am. Uh, I definitely can't wash my hands with this on because it will turn green. If you're looking for something that you're just going to wear maybe once or twice, and you can, it's fine if you, you want to get it wet. But I like my jewelry to last long. So I'm going to try to stay away from water so it doesn't mess up the jewelry. Next, I bought one earring from them, and this is from Chloe Accessory, and this is basically like a, the earrings that go all around the ear, and I got it in silver because I have piercings in my ears that are silver, and I can't take them out. I, I can't take them out, but I never take them out because it's like so difficult to put them back in. I have the top pierce and then I have this pierce. So I knew that I didn't want to get any earrings that were gold because it just wouldn't match uh, the earrings that I already have. So let me see how this looks. Okay, so I'm not too happy with this earring. Let me get a closer look. 
as you can see it droops like I thought it would be more like this so that when I turn to the side you can actually see the earring but it's like this and it's like really really droopy and I think there was actually a review that said it doesn't hang how it's supposed to that it, it droops I don't know I think I'm not sure if it was a website that said it or like a review I think it was a review and I don't know why I just ignored that review I thought maybe that person it was just like one person that it didn't work out for but no I guess that person was right and then it made my ears so red because I'm like the top you have to it's kind of like a, a clamp that you have to squeeze to fit your ear but I mean that just looks really weird it's like really droopy let me just get a closer look so you guys can see how it is supposed to look it's supposed to look like this instead of like that hmm so yeah Okay, so now on to some rings. They wrap this really tight in like a little styrofoam. Plastic, styrofoam, a little plastic thing. Just rip it open. Okay, so it comes like this. The first one I got, it's gold. And it kind of has like a, a baby blue little egg. Super pretty and the back is adjustable if it's too tight or too small I got both of my rings in a size 6 because I'm a size 6 and I wanted it uh, I wanted to put the ring on my ring finger uh, yeah it's pretty big it isn't pretty big but the good thing is that I can adjust it if I want make it a little tighter let me see so I'll, I'll probably have to wear this ring on my pointer finger, actually. This is the only finger that it fits kind of okay, and then I'll just make it a little tighter to fit better. But that's that's totally fine. I don't really, I'm not really, you know, too big on where the ring should be placed. I, I was thinking about putting it on my ring finger, but I don't really mind having it on my pointer finger. I just think it's super cute. And again, I'm gonna have to stay away from water with this ring. Now let me see the other ring. It's just super cute. What the heck? Okay, it says size 18. Let me just show you guys. It says size 18. I'm a size six. So I don't know if size 18 means like a different country, like that's how their sizes run. I don't know. But yeah, let me try. Um, okay, yeah, this is also really really big and what sucks about this is that it's not adjustable It's just a ring like that. So if it's too big, then you can't really do anything about it So it doesn't really fit any of my fingers. It fits my thumb a little bit, but I'm not gonna put a ring on my thumb Let me just Yeah, this is definitely not a six. Let me just put it side by side to my size six This is a size six right here and this is probably like a size 8. Yeah, this is probably like a size 8, I think. Again, I mean, the only finger that I might be able to play it off uh, is probably my pointer finger again. Because that's usually like my fattest finger. I'm not going to wear it on my thumb. I think that just looks silly. So I'll probably just have to wear it on my, my pointer finger. But whatever, it's still a cute ring and it's a dollar. It has like a pearl in the center and then it just has diamonds around it. Of course, not a real pearl and not real diamonds, but. So yeah, if you are gonna get a ring and it's not adjustable in the back, like this one, when I bought it, I knew that the back was adjustable, so I wasn't really, you know, too nervous about the sizing, but this one, I ordered a 6, so I thought it would be a 6, but it's not. It's an 18. Um, I don't know if they just got the sizes mixed up or if that's how a size 6 runs, you know, where they're at. I don't know. But either way, I still like the rings. And last but not least, I got two belly rings, which, 
yeah, they were both a dollar and I was super excited because the cheapest I've ever bought my belly rings for was for like three, four dollars and I thought that was like super, super cheap. I was so excited when I got it for three to four dollars. Um, the only thing that I just hope, I hope they're not too small because sometimes like I've bought a belly ring before where like the stick is too tiny and it's too tight but from the looks of it, from the looks of it, I can tell that this ring um, is not too small. It actually looks like it's a perfect size. And it's like this. It has an amethyst, like, stone, which is like a purpley, purple slash violet color. And that's my birthstone since I was born in February. And the second belly ring that I got, this was actually just a random thing I got because... All the other ones that I wanted were sold out. Like the belly rings, all the the good ones or the nice ones were sold out. Like especially the ones that were dangling were sold out. But for some reason, this was the only okay dangling one that wasn't sold out. So let me just do a little close up. It's pink, and I don't even know what that is. Is that like a, a peacock or a swan? I don't even know what that is. And it just has a bunch of different colors. It has like red, pink turquoise and like just different crystals on it and it's pink and again the sizing for this one is let me see yeah they're the same size as far as you know this part right here so I already know that they're not gonna be too tight on my stomach um, on my stomach I know they're not gonna be too tight when I put them in my belly that doesn't even sound right what the heck they're not going to be too tight when I put them in the hole, which is what I was fearing because they have the measurements, but like the measurements for these were really weird. I didn't even understand what they meant. So I was just hoping that they would fit and they do and they're a dollar. And I think you can't go wrong with dollar belly rings. Of course, before I wear the belly rings, I, I'm going to sterilize them because the last thing I want is getting an infection. So yeah, guys, that was my first impressions slash unboxing of the stuff I bought from Miss A and besides the cheap eyelashes and what was the other thing that I wasn't talking about oh yeah the earring right here and these eyelashes besides these two things everything else I was pretty happy with um, again there was the issue with the rings not fitting and not running true to size but you know I'm not really too picky about that because I could just put them on my pointer finger um, and yeah so I guess my overall opinion on the website is that website is low-key popping like it really is everything's a dollar and the quality of the things are really good the jewelry for a dollar it's really good quality for a dollar right um, you know I've bought jewelry that's probably like ten dollars and it's pretty much the same quality as these um as the items that i purchased here the underwear were good quality um yeah i'm really excited about trying the facial mask i hope they don't break me out because they're only a dollar i bought a facial mask that is really similar to those i got them at forever 21 they were also a dollar and it looked just like those and it was supposed to like hydrate my face and instead it left me so dry so Fingers crossed that this doesn't happen with these with these masks. Um, and yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Give the website a thumbs up. And just buy some things that are affordable. Definitely check out the website. Again, everything's a dollar. Shipping was... I think shipping was pretty affordable too. I think shipping was like three, three something. And everything that I bought, it came out to like 15 bucks. I bought 15 items, I think. And plus the shipping... Everything was less than $20, I'll just say that, which is pretty good for everything that I got. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check it out. Again, this is not a sponsored video at all. I just wanted to show you guys all the cool stuff that I got. And I wanted, you know, to know for myself. I've heard a lot about this website. I wanted to know for myself if it was worth, you know, taking a risk and buying from this website where everything's a dollar. And it definitely is. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.